Jesus said, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. The church needs many more young men and women to respond to God's call. I'm Father Michael Sparrow from the Bellarmine Jesuit Retreat House. One of the priests highlighted on Vokari, Shalom World's weekly television show that highlights the diversity of men and women who have responded to God's call to priesthood and religious life. We count on your prayers and your generous gifts to help us continue to produce Vokari and a wide variety of other television inspirational shows seen around the globe for the glory of God. No gift is too small, no gift is too large. Support Shalom World TV, and the next time you tune in, you'll be glad you did. Hallelujah. 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 Let us worship the Lord by singing a hymn on his behalf. Let us praise the Lord. Clapping the hands. Let us sing together and praise and worship the Lord. Who is like he lying at the land, seated on the throne? Oh, Jesus. Mountains bow down, every ocean roar to the Lord of all. Who is like him, lying at the land, seated on the throne? Praise and thank you, Jesus. Mountains bow down, every ocean roar to the Lord of all. Glory, 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 glory. Said on from the rising of the sun to the end of every day, sing praise and on all the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints sing praise and on from the rising of the sun to the end of every day, sing praise. All the nations of the earth, Amen. all the angels and the saints sing praise. Let us together with the saints and the archangels, let us praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord, we praise and glorify you, Lord. We thank you and adore you, Lord. We worship your name. We worship your mighty name. And there be great anointing to the Lord today as we sing together, as we pray together, as we have come around your name, Lord. And there be great blessing from above. From the rising of the sun, that all the people who listen to this word of God be healed in Jesus' name. That there be great anointing from above. Yeah, Baba, yeah, Baba, yeah, Baba. That all the pain is broken down. From the rising of the sun. Glory, 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 Lord, today we worship and adore you. We proclaim that you are the only Savior. Our Lord, today, give us the grace to consider you as the greatest wealth in this world. Our Lord, today, people are in search of wealth. 
fame a name but they are not satisfied a lord we know it is your grace and your spirit that gives happiness and wealth a lord as we as we are here to receive the word of god let the word of god come into our hearts let the word of god be made flesh in our hearts so that we may be able to obey the word of god understand the word of god meditate the word of god mother mary you believed whatever is said will happen and thus you became blessed we invoke your grace mother mary help us to believe in the words Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen amen praise the lord praise the lord dear brothers and sisters today when we look around we see people are so much tense today they are running after so many things today what is the ultimate aim of all these disturbances in their hearts why are they were so much trouble in their lives nothing they need they need to amass wealth because many people think that once you have enough and more wealth that everything is to be all right and today from morning till evening people do hard works and they do a lot of works in their lives they try to attain and amass wealth in different ways they don't even consider their health they don't consider their family somehow they have to make wealth and money in their lives but we should know that all those people who run after money who run after wealth will be perished within no time because once the wealth has become a god in your heart or once you give more importance or priority to wealth and money in your life you are going to be ruined you will have never peace of mind we know for our day to day activities our daily life we need wealth It is true. We need money, but in the priority list, if the wealth or money takes the first place, the brothers and sisters, our life will be a disastrous life. You will never enjoy happiness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Word of God says, First Samuel chapter two, verse seven. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. God who makes a person poor or rich. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is not on your hard work depends. It is not on your toil. It is God who makes a person rich or poor. Therefore, the book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22, the word of God says, the greatest wealth that you can get is the blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord is the greatest wealth of a person, a human life. If you have everything in plenty, but you do not have the blessing of the Lord, you are not a wealthy person. So, today as we meditate upon today's uh, thought, we will just consider what priority do you give in your life to money and wealth? Are you running after 24 hours? thinking how to earn money how to make money the brothers and sisters such people will never ha- get happiness in their life praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah according to the bible gospel of saint luke chapter 12 verse 15 on verses the life of a person is not judged according to the wealth it is not by the wealth your life is judged We see a rich man there. 
He had enough one more wealth. And once he got enough one more crops in his uh, in his land, the word of God says, "A foolish man, today, tonight, if your life is asked back, if you are dead, whose will be these amazed wealth and crops?" So, brothers and sisters, we should know it is God's grace that makes you to use it. If God doesn't allow, if God doesn't give you a life, a long life, you cannot enjoy. Therefore, you give the blessings of the Lord as the first priority and live your life accordingly. Then, the everything will be added to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 16, reads in this way. Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble with it. Praise the Lord. Praise the word the Lord. of God says, it is better to have a little and have fear of the Lord than having more wealth and having so many kinds of troubles in your life. Because the more you earn wealth, the more you crave for money, the automatically one of the other, the troubles can come into your life. I have seen so many people who are very rich, but they cannot enjoy life. But there are some simple people who do not have much uh, bank balances or any other income but they live so happily other than the other people who are very rich because they have the blessings of the Lord they know unless and until Yahweh God gives we do not have anything so such people will be so much happier happier than the other people who have more wealth hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. again the word of God says if the craving for money the craving for wealth will crush the word of God and it destroys. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Dear brothers and sisters, in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 4, we see the parable of the uh, sower. A man goes for sowing seeds. And the word of God, when it is explained in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 4, verse 19, the word of God says, a person who is craving after wealth and money, in them the word of God cannot sprout out. It cannot give yield fruits because it is of no use to them. But the cares of the world and the lure of the wealth and the desire for other things come in and choke the word and it yields nothing. Hallelujah. So the word of God, if, oh, word of God is choked and it does not yield any fruit Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we should clearly understand what is the attitude towards wealth by the gospel. The gospel teaches us whatever you have, you distribute. The more you give, it will be more you, you will receive. That's why what we see in Luke 6, 38. Give and it will be given to you. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. Praise the Lord. The more you give, you the more you receive. And that is the philosophy of Bible. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 24 says, a person, even when he gives more and more, he receives more. And a person who is very stingy, who does not give what, what he has to give, such persons are always uh, becoming poor and poor. Let's read, read Proverbs 11.24. Some give freely, yet grow all the richer. Some people give freely, but they become richer. Others withhold what is due and only suffer want. Some people, they, do not give what is, they don't even give what is due and they suffer a lot. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, today, as we meditate and pray, we ask the Lord, Lord, give us the grace. The book of Proverbs, chapter 30 and 8 onwards, a beautiful message is given to us that I think we all have to uh, repeat and pray in our lives. Remove far from me falsehood and lying. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that I need, or I shall be full and deny you and say, Who is the Lord? Or I shall be poor and steal 
and profane the name of my God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God is beautiful. Prayer is said. Lord, don't give me more rich, richness in my life. Lord, don't give me much poverty in my life. Because if I am more and more richer, what happens? Sometimes I may neglect you. I may depend completely on my richness. And if I become very poor, what happens? Sometimes I may have the tendency to steal from others. Therefore, I ask you, I beg you, Lord, to give me each day what is needed. Is it not the very same thing Jesus taught us? Give us the daily bread. Oh Lord, each day we need your grace and we let us work for each day because tomorrow is not sure to us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us stand up. We ask the Lord. Lord, if after all there is a craving in our heart to amaze wealth, if at all we have given first priority to wealth, to money in my life, we ask you to remove it. We need at first place your grace and help us to rearrange my priority order help us to remove the craving for money oh lord your blessing is the greatest wealth that a person can have in this world how will i get this blessing by obeying the commandments by keeping the word of god by being attached to god by being a child of god I receive the blessings. Let us stand up. Lord, you are more precious than silver. Lord Jesus. Lord, you are more costly than gold. Oh God. Lord, you more beautiful than diamonds, nothing I desire compares to you. Lord, you are more precious than silver. Come into my heart. Lord, you Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's always there to help and protect you. The 
Dear brothers and sisters, in the past days, we were so busy. We had no time to listen to him. And that is the reason why you couldn't receive any blessings from God. Today Jesus is calling you, dear son and my dear daughter, in your priority list, give first preference to me. You don't run after wealth. You don't run after money. The worldly pleasures will not satisfy you. You need my Holy Spirit. In order to get away from you. In order to be blessed by me. You have to get rid of of the worldly pleasures. You need a self-control in your life. You need to give first preference to me in my life. Don't you think your life is miserable because you have not given more importance to my words. Your life is so busy scheduled. And sisters, we know that we are weak. Accept your weakness. Tell Jesus, Lord, you should touch me. You should heal me. You should transform me. Oh Lord, please upside down my plans and my thought patterns. Let your plan be mine. Let your will be done in my life. Lord, I want to get away from the sinful situations. I want to surrender myself totally and fully to you, Lord Jesus. As I pray today, Lord, you know my difficulties. There are a lot of problems in my families. My family members are not cooperating with me. They are fighting each other. Many of my family members do not have faith in God. But I too cannot pray, Lord. I would like to pray, but I am unable to pray. Oh Lord, there are so many sick people in my family. My own sickness troubles me a lot. I need a healing, Lord. I need a healing touch from you, Lord. Oh Lord, there are financial crises in my life. I don't have a stable job. My business is getting worse and worse. There is no one to support me, Lord. Oh Lord, you have said rightly, all those who weep are heavily burdened. All those who thirst come to me. I will give you rest. And Lord, today we place ourselves before you, Lord. We have nothing to offer you except a sinful heart. We have nothing to give you, Lord, except my weaknesses and my shortcomings. But Lord, sometimes I feel that I am the cause of all these things. I feel that I am the cause of my agony in my family. I feel that my sins and my abominations are the reason for my misery. Now give me the grace. Give me the grace to worship you, to bless you, to raise your name up and to be faithful to you. Dear brothers and sisters, let us dedicate ourselves totally to Jesus. Let us surrender ourselves our weaknesses, our difficulties, our troubles, our sufferings. He is not far away from us. He is a living God. He was one among us. Therefore, he could understand the feelings of each and every one of us. Let us raise our hands up to heaven and let us call out the name of Jesus as we are going to receive the blessings.
Let's praise and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 to send a special blessing to the viewers of Shalom World TV. May a year in May our Lord fill up your hearts with joy. And in such a blessing you can find a way to be witnesses to Jesus in your way, in your life, in your profession. Be happy because really God loves you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Shalom World, God's own channel.